Unfortunately, I gotta follow some rules. The UTV race will be a one hour race starting at 4 p.m. Minimum age requirement, 18 years old, I'm 23. I passed the first thing. Competitors must register as a team. I have Seth being my victim. The racing does not provide medical insurance. UTV machine width can be a maximum of 64 inches. 63 and three quarters, perfect. We're looking good. The width was kind of nerve wracking for a second. <laughs> Full roll cage, it comes with a roll cage. You don't have to worry about that. Window nuts, we have those. They're right here. Master battery shutoff switch, we have that. Rear tail slash brake lights must remain on at all times. Yeah, I don't think you have a running light. Okay, I don't know if our lights work. Oh, it, it turns on right now. Really? Yeah, it's on. It's on. It wasn't Thank before. goodness. All right, how about the brake light? <laughs> Come on, brake light. Come on, brake light. Please, please. It's not going any higher or lower. Right. Damn. Let the chaos and this 3D Machines production begin. Jason's gonna work on the rear tail light, and yours truly is going to work on the pressure washer to get Crush clean. We need Crush clean. Yeah. Need to fix this thing. Well, actually. This thing. So what are you seeing down here that we have not currently seen, Jason? Uh, it's the brake on off switch. It's stuck? It's not working. All right. I'm operating it by hand to see if the brake light's coming on. Because if it's not, then it's probably a bad switch. The, the light's back there. <laughs> you want me to check the lights? Yeah. Okay, it's on. Yep. Oh! Dude, you got it! Woohoo! Jason, give me some. Get some, get some, get some. Making moves! Crush is one step closer. We're about to make them two steps closer. Now that we have the pressure washer all set, ready to go, new pump is on. Engine's ready to fire. At least I hope. And there's only one way to find out. We're gonna work on a wet crust. Better than dirty I'm gonna go pick up the pressure washer, then we'll work on those nets, okay? Yeah. We got we got a whole bunch of orange things to install in that thing. Oh, you got the radiator installed, huh? Almost. It's gonna keep us nice and colder One in the race. More. So these are our window nets, Crush's window nets, and they're orange because Crush is orange. However, Jason and I, you haven't installed any of these before, have you? Jason has not installed any of these before. I have not installed any of these before. I don't know a lot about these things, but what I do know is these things are extremely froggy fresh. But yeah, they go something like this. And what, what else we got? We got a top bar, lower bar, and some Is this the lower bar or That's upper the bar? bar? This is the lower bar. The lower bar. And this has to somehow attach through here. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm not too excited with what I'm about to do. Well, I guess the fuse. Got it. We're rocking out and getting parts. <laughs> we 
We just got back from jamming out in value. We just got back from eating lunch. And this doesn't look pretty right now, but this is our net system. We have to make two of these. This, this one's for the driver's side. Then we will reverse this and mirror it and then throw one on the passenger side. Crush progress. I don't want anything to melt. These will hopefully keep debris, rocks, mud, other passengers from flying in my window. We don't want flying passengers going into a crush. That'd be unacceptable. There are no free riders in crush. What are your thoughts on that, Jason? Right in the packet. I, I was thinking about the passenger thing, but, but okay, we'll do that. <laughs> So far, so good. We've made an extreme amount of progress today on Crush. It's a good thing because we have a deadline. Race is April 21st, first race ever with Crush, 4 p.m. The gates open at, I don't know, but we're gonna run like a meet and greet with autographs from 11 to like 7 p.m. on Saturday. So come on out, it's gonna be awesome. But we're gonna work on putting this fire extinguisher somewhere here. We're gonna buy some stainless steel hose clamps to put right here. We're, we got the brackets where the window nets go etched. We have the lower portions of the window nets getting etched as well. These guys will be the next things we get to. Jason's even got the battery kill in there. We'll check that out after we get back. Need to go downtown, get, get those hose clamps, check if my skid plates came in. I bought some extremely, extremely heavy duty skid plates for Crush. They go underneath to protect his delicates, like his differentials, his transmission, his engine. All that kind of stuff, the skid plate protects that. I'm super, super stoked. Let's go downtown. Back from town, we bought everything. Jason's getting really, really excited. Jason, what do you get? What do you want to do here? I want to test the battery switch. Test the battery switch. Yeah. Uh, push in the clutch so we can start it. We'll sit on the hammer. Okay. Ready? That works. Kill. So if I hit something extremely hard, or if somebody hits me extremely hard, and uh, you know I lose consciousness, or I don't know who I am anymore, either my victim or somebody on the sidelines can hurry up, get in here, and just turn that magical switch. Jason's magical switch might save my life. I have these little brackets painted up, which are looking really, really good. We're gonna have to wait 30 minutes to top coat those black. Unfortunately, the skid plates did not come in. Jason, hmm. where are the skid plates? Not at your house. Great. That, ladies and gentlemen, is sarcasm. I really wanted the skid plates to be in, but we have other things we can do. We can wrap this thing. We can install the new five-point harnesses. Both of them. We don't need one for, for your side. You, you can just... So uh, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult installing the five-point harnesses because we have one point right there for the old seat belt. We yeah, have We have one right there. How I saw the other guys do it is they actually wrap it right around this bar here. So we have four points. The fifth point is the only one we have to really worry about, and that would go in between your, well, well, you know. That thing is heavy duty. Wow. They don't want you going anywheres. Well, it's, uh, I think that's stronger than the wench that it comes with. It's only good for two years. Has what? A, it has an expiration date, June 20th. Holy cats. <laughs> Rip that thing off right now. There's an expiration date on a seat belt? Yeah. I've heard of consumables, but that's a little ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna fit my five point harness up. We're actually not gonna use this fifth point. We only need a four point, but I bought this fifth point because I thought we could probably use it. But the way this seat works, we're not going to be able to use it. This is like you go 200 miles an hour. Like get ready to hang on because you're gonna crash kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Whoa! Now, if these were, these were installed. Yeah, now we gotta do those. Dude, I feel like Superman. We can leave those so that you can tuck them away and tuck them down so that you only use those for race and you can have this for regular, for regular time. These are what all the cool kids wear. We gotta do away with those. You wanna completely get rid of it? Yeah, I think so. All right, this is like, but, no, you're legit. <laughs> So we have the seats out for the hundredth time. We are taking the seat belts out for the first time and only going to rock the race seat belts. That way we feel more legit while we're just cruising around. Is that a good enough excuse? Yeah. 
So we have a little paint experiment going on. I bought this fast acting stuff a long time ago, but I couldn't find it. Jason and I couldn't find it, so we went downtown and bought other stuff, this stuff. Well, we're in the day and age where speed and efficiency and time is of the essence. This says it dries in eight minutes. This stuff dries to the touch in two to four hours. We don't have time for that. So I'm glad we found this stuff, but I did paint these. I painted, the, I painted these two things with the slow paint, and then I waited about 30 minutes, and now I'm putting the fast stuff on. I'm hoping the paint chemicals mix together and speed up the process, but it could backfire and this could just start bubbling. Uh, just wish us luck. Seat belts are coming along very, very well. I could call my house to see if the skid plates are in, Jason. I'm checking to see if my skid plate's in, if anybody's there and can verify this by going to the porch, I'd really appreciate it. Jason, we're not gonna be installing skid plates today. All right, so that's the backing plate, dude. That, ha that does have to. Jason's being a good sport, he's reading the instructions. No, it'll go into the, it'll go into the stock holes. That's what these cut out So this for. whole thing slides behind this? Yes. Oh, okay. This thing is a lot more complicated than a bumper used to be. <laughs> Grab bar is 90% done. I don't have the right length bolts because the other guy, the, the previous owner, stripped them out. No, I got them out. You know what? Let it rip down your chair! Crush is ready to race. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Made a lot of progress on Crush. Hopefully we'll wrap it tomorrow, so stay tuned. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. Until next time. 3D Machines and Jason out. We'll see ya.